Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, also HardBuckElectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. 203-892-4119. So we have another Ameritron AL811. Getting a brand new set of Pentalap tubes. Has the older style plate choke, so I'll be replacing that as the force section. Needs the parasitic board, so I'll add that. It's not have the diodes on the rear board, so I'll add those. I'll add gas discharge tubes. At the base of the socket down there has the old SO239s. I'm going to put new Teflon ones in from MaxGain Systems. Okay, so that's about it. I'm going to get to work. So stay tuned. See you guys soon. You mentioned it needs a bias mod. And uh, of course, I'll put the longer screw in the base of the plate choke. And I'll clean all the contacts with the Oxygold. All right, see you guys soon much all set but I noticed that the coil is not soldered to the support here at all so it puts a lot of stress on the connection point at the board and also the band switch so I'm going to fix that. Okay so I'm back with the completed Maritron AL811. I'm going to show it working on 10 meters. So I'll key the amp. Audio hello hello hello. Hello around 48 50 watts somewhere in that, that range. 1kW slug. Bird 43 on PEP, see about 600 here over, audio hello, 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 audio hello, 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 audio hello, 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 audio hello, 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 and it's working as it should, okay, so I'm going to let the tubes cool off for a second. And then I'll show you everything I did on the inside. See you guys soon. We're back with the cover off of the completed Ameritron AL811. The bias modification, new parasitic board, plate choke out of the gas discharge tubes. Resoldered the support over here. The brand new SO239 Teflon connectors from Max Gain Systems. Awesome. People over there, real nice. Brand new Pentalab 572B tubes, match trio. Clean the band switch, deoxy gold, input rotary switch with deoxy gold. Compress the socket clips and clean them with deoxy gold. Tighten on, tightened up on hardware. Fixed solder joints. I also added the diodes to the rear board. Clean the TR slash bias relay with deoxygold. gold. I put the proper size fuses in it. It had 12 amp fuses. Zip tied the wiring. It's missing the nut insert, so I'll put a larger screw in. So because of that, the floor kinked up a little bit, and I bent it back over there the best I could. So this is all set. I also added a piece of heat shrink to the shaft in case the strap uh, were dangling across it. it might end up arcing still but that's what they do at the factory so um, so that's about it thanks for watching websites are amprepairguy.com also harbachelectronics.com I believe the next amp is a 30L1 so and um, have some more boxes so keep them coming I get things done quick. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. 73.